Okay, so here is my latest piece. It's got quite a bit of scratching on the top. I'm obviously saving this because it's beautiful. I'll have to do a little fix here. Um, this is the part where it gets a little weird. I'm not sure what it is. I keep thinking it's like a speaker or used to be obviously of some kind because there is no access to this. This is not a door of any kind. You can put things in there, but they could only ever be this wide and this tall. So it's interesting. So what I'm going to try and do is cut this out and turn it into a door. Wish me luck. Okay, so I have to do a quick update because I couldn't get this all on film because I was just trying to work through and figure out what I was going to do. So we cut the frame in half. I've got the backer board cut out for it that's going to be attached. It's also cut down the middle, but I have a single piece of the print on here. And then I will split that as soon as it's all set and dry. I just wanted to make sure it was going to be the exact same pattern. And this way I don't have to line it up. I just need to cut through the sheet of paper once it's dry. Um, and then I'm going to glue up these guys back on here. Put them on the backer board so they'll have some strength and then there'll be two swinging doors instead of one, which is kind of where I went with things. So, okay. All right, so as you can see, I finally got the doors on. I did have to cut a little bit out of the legs here to get the hinges to fit in, but they're looking good. They come in here with some magnets, so that works out well. I've got a little stop down at the bottom too. Um, and then right now I'm just trying to get on this coat of paint tonight so that tomorrow morning I can start working on it. So right now I'm just doing the blue around the trim. I've already got the top and the sides done. So sorry, that's far back. Oh, and I added this piece of hardware here. I changed that because on this door, I put the knob. So I just kind of put that up there. I think it looks nice. We'll see. Got these wells to fill in. This side's almost done. It's got its first coat of paint on. It looks really great. This hasn't been finished yet. So there's still some scratches I'm hoping to be able to get out. But we'll see what I can do with it. Right now I'm just going around and filling any areas that I need to. As of right now, I'm getting ready to poly everything. I decided to do the inside white. And then I did add a little more of the wallpaper in the back just to brighten it up a bit. Inside, I tried painting it, but there was just too much bleed through because it was such an old piece and it wasn't designed to be a cabinet. So I ended up having to wallpaper the bottom, but that's okay. The sides turned out fine. I'll probably do something with these. I just haven't decided what yet, but yeah. And then I had this chair that I needed to get rid of. So I painted it to match. If I haven't already said that, that's a thing. Um, yeah, so it's already been polyed. I'm getting ready to spray this. And this will be ready for finishing touches, i.e. gilding waxes and things like that. polying all these they're all dry I'm getting ready to do the gilding oh yeah so these are essentially the finishing touches so see it just brings out the details you guys know this is my favorite part of anything I don't know why I film anything else when this is the only part that's worth filming too many stars I don't know, should I go around all of this or just these? Um, I actually like that the way it is. I do too. To be honest. All right, that's what we're doing. Just that. And just a reminder, here is the before. And here is the after. I love this piece so much. I really, really struggled listing it because I wanted to keep it so badly. But alas, I cannot. So I'm 
doing a dresser in very similar colors so that I have something to keep. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. And I will see you next week for the next project.